Hi, welcome to the next video in the Tokyo Storyfront series. As you probably know, I work uh, in an animation studio and I do backgrounds for animated movies. And now we are finishing a really long one and it will be in the Japanese cinemas in two months. So we are really busy at the studio and I'm working seven days a week to meet the deadline. So I don't really have much time to do these videos and my other stuff. I managed to finish the series, so all 10 illustrations are on my website and my Behance account to see and you can read about them there also. And I will be updating this video series when I find a moment to edit the videos I have recorded. And probably I will make a longer video for the whole series, like I did with the Yokohama series. So if you have any questions and want to ask me something, uh, you have only two videos left. So uh, if you want to ask something, ask in the comments. So here I want to just quickly answer a thing that appeared in the comments and I was asked a few times already. So under the previous video, Storm Payton asked what should he do if he wanted to start learning watercolors? Should he start with black and white only or dive straight into color? And I think it's a really interesting question because with watercolors the contrast of the picture, uh, so the difference between the black, uh, the, the darkest places and the lightest places and the steps in between are really important. So it seems logical to start with uh, black and white and don't bother about colors. But I would actually le recommend using pencils for this. Using pencils of different grades and trying to get this nice gradation of black is really important and teaches a lot. And you can use uh, references like the great sketches of, for example, Studio Ghibli's Oga Kazuo. I will link below the video. His book is really excellent if you want to see some simple but really well done sketches. And when you feel comfortable with deciding what should be bright and what should be dark and when, where do you want to put the accents in the picture, then you can go uh, to watercolors and I would actually recommend starting with few basic colors like 6 or 12 colors and again, I said it many times, but I think it's better to buy less colors, less basic colors, but good brands than a huge set, but really low quality, which will give you a lot of problems, I think. Unfortunately, watercolors can give quite poor results if you use really poor quality uh, supplies. So you can start small, but with good quality uh, your learning will be more stress-free I think. Okay so the picture is nearly complete and I just want to say that all 10 illustrations are uh, on my print store, my Society6 account and if you want to buy a print just go to my website and there's a link there. And also because I'm really busy as I said I will be posting more stuff on my Instagram I think so just follow me there if you are not following me yet. I'm thinking about some new projects and maybe illustration series maybe something different so I will be posting new stuff. Feel free to comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye!